You know what you've got to say, don't you? Yes, Auntie Pauline. And not a word about our other little secret. Well, what other little secret? Oh, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Answer the phone first, will you, Martin? No, I can't wait to see his face when he opens this up. Yeah. Hello? You'll have to have him here oh, half time. Happy birthday, Mark. You can count on it, all right? Let's get... Okay. Uh, that's Mark on the phone. All oh, right. Here, yeah, you should be on that store. We can finish off in here. Morning, birthday boy. All right? Yeah, no, I'm just having my breakfast. <laughs> I was wondering if I could see you today. It's kind of important. What's going on there? It was just Martin being clumsy in the kitchen, that's all, yeah. Why don't you pop by the laundrette in a couple of hours, then, if you want to have a chat? <sighs> laundrette won't really do, Mum. Can I come out after you finish work, maybe? Uh, this afternoon's a bit tricky, actually, Mark. Um, I promised Pat I'd go shopping with her. Yeah. Well, we'll be meeting up later, won't we, for a, a birthday drink in the Vic? OK, Mum, I'll see you then. I love you too. Yep. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. Tell me Mum's not organising a surprise party. What? Is she? Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Well, it's just on phone to her. She's hopeless at pretending. I always know when she's up to something. <sighs> no, I've really got no idea. I mean, I, I just came out to ask if you, me, um, and some of the lads from the market want to go over the Vic about five o'clock for a birthday drink. Yeah, and then round about half five, you say. I wonder where your mum's got to. Hey. Why don't you pop over and get her? What? And lo and behold, what do I find when I get there? I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I always had you down as a good liar. <sighs> Mark, you're putting me in a really lousy position here. Your mum made me swear an old stack of Bibles. <sighs> this is all I need. She's put a lot of thought into it. I mean, she'll be really upset if she thinks that you rumbled her. And besides, what? There is one surprise that you know nothing about. What's that? You'll have to wait and see. Thanks for this. Yeah, that's all right. Right, I will see you over in the Vic about five o'clock, and the drinks are on me. Oh, yeah, why is that? Bankruptcy's been lifted. The boy is back. See you tonight. How are you feeling? I feel bad about what I put you through the other night. Sorry. Well, as long as you're OK now. I've had a long think. I know what I'm going to do. Most intriguing. Can I ask what? I need to speak to Mum first. I was planning to see her today, but... For what? Are you in on the surprise party, love? What surprise party? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, who told you, Mark? Just call me Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> well, I must say it's very tidy in here. What's that all about? Actually, Sharon, I'm expecting someone any minute, so... if you don't mind. Oh, I see. Very mysterious. Well, I'll leave you to it, whatever it is. Happy birthday. Thanks. Hi, Sharon. Hi, boy. You, uh, just been to see the birthday party? Certainly have. Yeah. How is he? Oh, starting to feel his age, I think. Huh. Well, not too old for some things, eh? Who's that, I wonder? He said he was expecting someone. Did he say who? No. He's a dark horse, isn't he? I wonder what she's going to give him for his birthday. <laughs> Girl, you say? Well, according to Royal Wing. Mm. Smart car, attractive looking. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, mm-hmm? Mark did say he had something to tell me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Something he couldn't say over the phone. And you think that she might... Yeah. Well, I don't know, do I? I mean, he's not mentioned anything about any girlfriend up till now. And after that Lisa fiasco, who could blame him? But that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Someone to treat him right. What a birthday present that would be. Want to lick the bowl? No, I'm not a kid. I have to be a kid to want to lick the bowl. Oh, it's lovely. I don't want to lick the bowl, OK? And I certainly don't want to be at some stupid birthday party where everyone's like, I don't know, pretending they love each other or something. What has got into you? My mom, she's like always telling me she loves me and then she grounds me for a month. It's not love, OK? It's control. Well, what is love, hmm? Being allowed to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Being allowed to express myself. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, what's so funny? <laughs> oh, Derek. Pauline, uh, I had nothing to do all morning, so I thought I'd get ahead. You, you don't mind, do you? No. Did you follow the recipe? No, I made it up as I went along. I've made a cake before, you know. Oh, really? Oh, he's gay. What do you expect? What did you say, young lady? Come back here. Don't rise to it, Pauline. She's looking for a fight. You'll only be giving her what she wants. That'll spoil the whole day. Yeah, well, nothing's going to spoil my day today, because you know why. Why? 
My spies tell me that Mark's had a visitor, a female visitor. Really? Mm -hmm. Attractive, own car. Girlfriend? Well, I don't know, do I? But he did say on the phone this morning he had something to tell me, so makes you wonder. Sounds like good news. Well, all this is classified information, so he mustn't say anything. All right. Right. So, who's his girlfriend, then? You're not supposed to be listening in on other people's conversations. Well, if you let me go into town shopping, I wouldn't have to be here listening, would I? Well, after last week... I need a spring wardrobe. I'll be locking you in the wardrobe at this rate. Please, Nan. And have you come back late for the party? No way. I promise I'll be ever such a good girl if you let me go. Right, well, here's the deal. If you're good, and I mean if, mm -hmm. I might take you out to get one or two things at the end of the week. OK, well, as long as I can choose. Get buttering. Ian, see you in a couple of minutes. Mark's just this minute left the fit. Right. Oh. oh. Hello, Mum. Me and Ian are over in the pub. We was wondering where you got to. Oh, sorry, Mark. I lost all track of time. You wouldn't nip in there for me, would you? And get me handbag and I'll be with you. Sure. You rotten beggars. <laughs> Did you know about this, Sharon? Guilty as charged, Your Honour. You really didn't know? <laughs> Not the foggiest. I suppose you knew about this and all, did you? Afraid so. But <sighs> well, what can I say? Thank you all very much. I'm really chuffed. Come on, Thanks. then. Let's all tuck in. Give Give that boy an Oscar. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, oh. Thanks, Vicky. What is it? <laughs> it's an African talisman. It brings about harmony and understanding in the wearer. Mm, African? What's it say made in China? Oh, yes. yeah. Put it on. Cheers. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> One last present, yeah. and then we can start on the cake. I was wondering about this. <laughs> what are you two up to? Mm. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I'm going into office catering, and I need a partner. I still don't get it. Right, we know my bankruptcy's been lifted, yeah? So? So, the money I thought I'd lost, I'm getting back. And I thought, what better way of spending it than half sharing Ian's new business for you? Why would you want to do that? Well, because I thought you wanted a new challenge. Yeah, I know. Well, with your experience as a trader, I mean, you could be in charge of all the buying, all right? You're going to get a wage and a share in the profits. Thanks. What is that all? We'll talk about it later, Mum, yeah? You don't want it? Not now, Mum. <clears throat> so, tell us about your girlfriend, Mark. <laughs> Shush! What? She was seen going to your house this morning. Everyone knows. That wasn't a girlfriend. Well, who was she, then? We'll talk about it later, Mum. Well, come on. No, not now. Well, Vicky's already mentioned it now. You might as well get on with it. I wanted to tell you in private. It's too late now. This is an incredibly generous gift. And I wouldn't want you to think for a second that I didn't appreciate it. Only I'm not going to be able to accept it. That woman you saw this morning wasn't a girlfriend. She was an estate agent. She'd come to value the house. Well, why would you want to move? I'm not. I'm setting up, and then I'm going to be moving on. Where to? I don't know. It's a decision I've made over the last couple of days. And how long were you planning on going for? I don't know. Well, when were you going to go? As soon as possible. Oh, I see, and I'm not even consulted. Well, this was a decision I had to make by myself, Mum. What, you're leaving now, just three weeks before your brother goes to jail? Don't, Mum. Oh, very considerate of you, very thoughtful. Thank you very much. I didn't mean it to be like this. I'm sorry. Mark! Mark! Well, so much for harmony understanding, huh? Anyone for a slice of cake? 
exactly how I didn't want it to happen. Mark, you are throwing away a great opportunity here. There was so much money to be made out there. You should have told me you had something up your sleeve. I wasn't a no, was I? What makes you want to sell up anyway? I've got my reasons. Large whiskey, please, Alfie. 